Right, well, on the line, uh, we have a regular caller to the show uh, who's probably been missing me as I've been off air for a couple of weeks. Uh, it's uh, John. Uh, John, are you there? Hello, Mark. Yes, I'm here. You're quite right. I have missed you. Very much missed you, yes. So this is John Ash with an E from Basingstoke. Missing Mark Campbell very much, but not missing you now because, of course, I'm talking to you. Exactly. Well, lovely to speak to you, John. Uh, what have you been up to in the, in the couple of weeks that I've been off air? Ah, well, a number of different things, really. Um, I've been trying some new tablets recommended by my doctor uh -huh. for blood pressure. Right. To take blood pressure down, of course. And um, also some hibiscus tea, which I'm drinking here. Okay. I'll just prove that. Here we go. Which is very nice, and it's supposed to also reduce blood pressure. Uh -huh. But I might be having some trouble with these new tablets um, in connection with following you over to the Isle of Wight. How about that? You Sorry, did you say you've been following me over to the Isle of Wight? Yes, we decided to follow you over to the Isle of Wight. Never been a place that I'm very much interested in, but then you said that you were going off to the Isle of Wight and I was going to you know, gonna miss you for a couple of weeks. So um, me and uh, my indoors, my <laughs> other half, right. my her indoors, right. other half, yes. um, decided that we would follow you over there. Oh, right. Okay. Mm. That's almost like uh, you're my regular stalker. Well, steady on. Okay. So uh, did you uh, did you uh, find much to do in the Isle of Wight? Because I seem to remember you saying last time we spoke that it was nothing to do there. Well, that's what I always thought. I mean, I went there when I was a child, and I remember there was this place called Black Gang Chine or Cheen, mm. with uh, a lot of sort of fake dinosaurs around. Mm. And... Um, but this time when we went, it's pretty much the same, actually. There was pretty much nothing to do. So we, what we did is we stayed most of the time in the hotel, and oh. I was nursing my left leg. You, sorry, nursing your left leg, did you say? Yes, I was nursing my left leg, because I was starting these these uh, new blood pressure tablets. Uh -huh. um, they're not just new to me. Apparently, they're new on the market. Well, I won't say who makes them. Right. But um, one of the possible side effects with them is that they cause, I think it's called edema or something, where you get a bit of, you know, a bit of fluid um, on the leg, that sort of thing. Fluid, fluid on the leg. Yeah, that's a, possi a possible side effect. So uh, I tried these, uh -huh. and um, yes, my left leg swelled up a little bit. No, 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 not dangerously or anything like that, but yeah. so, just so that you, you press it, you notice sort of thing, and that's all right, but I was very odd that it was the left leg. Huh. It was just not the right leg, the left, the left leg. Did you have trouble getting your trousers on? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I don't grow vegetables anymore. Right, so uh, so it's just your just your left leg. Did you say that swelled up? Yes, just my left leg sw swelled up, swelled Swe up, swelled, swelled up. Yeah, yes, um, <laughs> such that it was swollen. Oh dear. Um, but that was while I was on the Isle of Wight. Yeah. Of course, since we've come home, yeah. and, you know, you have to take one of these these little tablets every day. Oh. But since we came home, actually entered Basingstoke again. Now it's the right leg. Huh. And the left leg's absolutely fine. Good grief. It's most extraordinary. And I phoned the doctor about I'll tell you what the doctor says in a minute. But, uh, um, uh. What, do, what do you think, Mark? I mean, don't you think that's extraordinary? Well, it is a very strange place, you know, uh, the Isle of Wight. It's full of, full of strange mystery, mystical things. It's, a, it's an enchanted island, apparently, if you believe the publicity. Um, when I was there, I did go and find a, a standing stone, it's the, the island's only standing stone, in a, pra a place oh. called Bright, Bright Stone. Oh no, so long stone because it is quite long. And uh, when I got there, there's this the person sort of there's a person walked past me like a hitcher, hitchhiker, well, a hiker, I suppose he wasn't hitching a lift, walking past me, didn't uh, acknowledge me or anything. And there's only him there and me there. There's no one else. And he walked back to to the car where where uh, Sarah was waiting for me. And Sarah said she saw him walk towards her, and then she looked down and looked up, and he'd gone. Disappeared, oh, disappeared, and then and then the other funny thing is her phone went back an hour for no reason. It just suddenly went back a whole hour. Oh, God. God. Strange, isn't this it? This person, yes, this person was it. Was he or she wearing 
modern day garb or something a period piece from the well past. i was t- tempted to say something silly like no they were dressed as a victorian but uh, no they were uh dressed in modern modern garb and he walked past and right. he was sort of singing i mean it was odd really sort of singing a strange sort of odd song to himself as he as he went mm-hmm. which i can't remember really other than just thinking at the time it was a bit bit odd well you know that brings back memories because when i was um a quality surveyor you know, have i told you i was a quality yes surveyor, Mark, you mentioned or? it you've mentioned it yes right well when i was a quality surveyor in the early days when i was training um there was a there was a very strange man and i think now this this may be a coincidence or it may not but i think he was brought up on the isle of Wight. right and he came into the office one day and i was told that this this person was a new instructor so i was expecting to you know have some sort of interaction with him as a trainee mm. and um but then there was no mention of him ever again huh. that's uh... no mention of him later that day and then when i asked um no i can't remember what the, the man's name was yeah. um we're gonna be having any any connection with so and so not only did nobody say oh no he's gone or anything like that no, nobody had any Huh. Reflection of him at all, uh, and yet some of those members of staff would actually say, "Oh, this is so and so. You know, he's going to do yeah. this work." Most you, extraordinary experience, and I think, I, if I if memory serves me correctly, I think he was brought up on the Isle of Wight. Oh. Did you you saw him? Did you say you just heard? I saw him. Uh, well, um, depends what you mean by see. Right. No, I didn't actually see him, but right. I remember him being talked about. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, strange, actually, I'm trying to think of. I'm not. Well, you know, my, my memory, memory can be a bit dodgy at times. Right. Yes. So, uh, so that, so all the sort of myst, my, oh, mystery, mysterious island. You and your your swollen left leg and this strange yes. hiker who disappeared. That's um, right. So, so did, you didn't really go out much. You went to? Uh, did you go to Black Gang Chine? We went to Black Gang Chine. Yes, and we saw the fake dinosaurs. Uh-huh. A bit of a walk around. All right. Um, well, a bit of a walk around. I was looking at my left leg. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was doing lots of sunshine, wasn't there, Mark? Oh, very sunny, very sunny. Did you go to? Uh, did you go on the steam railway? No. Did you? Did you go in the Robin Hill Country Park? No. Sandham Gardens. Uh, what was that again? Sandham Gardens. No. Did you go to the Needles? No. Don't need to go to the Needles. Been there before, actually. Fair enough. Did you go to Monkey Haven? No. Uh, so you basically just stayed at your hotel looking at your leg? Pretty much. Except, of course, for the visits to Black Gang Chine. Right. Or Chine. Or so Chune, you, I suppose. So I you, didn't, you didn't go to Carisbrook Castle? Um, nope. But we did think about it. All right. Did You didn't go to Osborne House then? Nope. Thought about that as well. So how long were you, uh, how long were you there then, John, on the Isle of Wight? We were there for a week. We, we um, overlapped with your stay, and I'm sure I saw you. Oh, right. Okay. That black gang chin, tune, whatever it is. Right. I'm sure I saw you. Definitely oh. you. Okay. Uh, I don't think I went there, actually. No, I'm thinking I did lots of things, uh, but we didn't go to black gang chin or chine. So perhaps you're thinking of someone, perhaps you saw someone else that looked like me. Um, no, it's definitely you. All right, so you've seen where me. Else did you, where, where else did you go? Uh, we went to the Needles. Right. Uh, we went to West White Alpacas and Llamas Centre. That was lucky, yeah. We went there. Uh, went on the Steam Railway. No, no, we went to the Alpaca Centre. We did that. Right. Is that where you saw me? So you know what That's I look like? I saw you. Oh, right. So you, you, mm-hmm. know what, you know what I look like, then? You've been studying studying my uh, picture, have you? Um, no, actually, I'm not sure. I, no, I don't think I've ever see, seen a picture of you, no. Where would I find a picture of you, anyway? I uh, spoke to you on the phone. Well, there is one on the website for Valley Park Radio. Oh, I'll have a look. So how did you? why did you think it was me, if you didn't know what I looked like? Well, I only saw the back of your head. Right. Mm. Okay. And that was clearly... Well, that was clearly the, the head of a DJ. Right. And the only DJ I know is you. Right. So it had to be you. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Well, okay, John. Well, do you have um, do you have a record for us to play? I do actually. Yes. Uh, excuse me. I have a little cough. <coughs> yes. Um, well, two records. 
one of which I'd like you to play and one of which I'd like you probably not to play. All right. Um, because <laughs> when I was younger, um, I used to dance to uh, Rolf Harris's Jake the Peg with the extra leg. Right. And I thought it would be rather suitable to have that because of my extra leg situation. Although, actually, no, it's not an extra An leg, extra leg? No, no, the tablets seem to be quite powerful, but they haven't caused me... I was going to say, you didn't say your leg had swollen to, to the size of two legs. No, no, I just feel like I've got an extra leg. Right. Anyway, um, I thought that, actually, I knew of um, a version of that, um, or sort of inspiration for that song mm. beforehand, oh, that okay. I used to dance to sometime, that reaches back to the middle 60s, okay. by somebody I think called um, Father Abraham or something like that, a Dutch man. All right. He used to wear a, um, a, a, a yellow coat. So I'm wondering if you could play that instead. Uh, we could have a go if we can find it. I'll have a go for you. Yes. Father Abraham. All right. Yes. All right. And his, and his extra leg. Yes, yes. Isn't he, isn't he something to do with the Smurfs, Father Abraham? Oh, he could have been. Mm, yes. Interesting. Are the Smurfs something to do with the Isle of Wight? I don't think so. I think the only thing I remember about the Isle of Wight is there are, it's known for its druids. Uh, and I suppose okay. I suppose if you look at the silhouette of a druid and the silhouette of a smurf, there could could possibly be be some confusion. Right, I've never seen either, so I wouldn't know if they were mm. like each other or not. Mm. One thing I will say about the Isle of Wight is there are no birds there. And I know you have a bird expert that comes on every time, every now and again. Is it once a month or something, Mark? Well, he was on earlier in the show. Did you listen? No, I wasn't able to listen. I was nursing my 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 right leg, of course, at the moment. Oh, right. Okay. No, he was yeah, on the on the sh puffy. on the show earlier yeah. earlier earlier today, actually talking about the, the birds. Yes, uh, so we we do we are we are catering for ornithologists everywhere. Right, well, could you ask him the next time you speak to him about the Isle of Wight? Because there are no birds on the Isle of Wight, I can assure you. I don't uh, see any birds there at all. I think, I know there's a bit of a tradition, isn't there, on the continent of eating birds. Hmm. They're shooting well, it's odd you say that, because we were staying... a bit of a bird pie, but it's close to the continent, so I'm wondering whether people take pot shots at them and make you know, blackbird, blackbird pie and things. Well, we were staying in a campsite, and... Uh... There was a sort of a big forest area in the middle of the campsite, and there were hundreds of, of birds there of a night time, crows or ravens or whatever they were, caw cawing away. There were hundreds, hundreds of other things. What, on the Isle of Wight? Mm. No, mm, we didn't yeah. see any at all. Oh, OK. Well, we didn't leave the, we didn't leave the hotel room very much. I mean, but, but when we did, I mean, there aren't, there aren't, well, let's put it this way, there aren't any at the uh, museum, and there aren't any... At the uh, Black Gang Chain. Or at the Alpacas and Llamas Centre. Museum, that's what I mean. Yes, oh, the I Alpacas see. and Llamas Museum. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, that's a question for uh, for Jerry, our resident bird expert. I'll ask him I'll ask him that uh, next time I speak to him. How's that, John? That's fine, yes. Okay, good. All right, well, he knows, doesn't he? Pardon? Because he'll know that. He'll know. He's an expert he'll, on birds. He is yeah. an expert. Of birds, right? Well, we'll get that uh, that Father Father Abraham song lined up for you. Uh, is anyone you'd like to give a shout out to? Yes, Maud, please. This week, actually, another thing I thought is um, what was this? What was this bird chap's name again? Uh, Jerry. Jerry, uh, could you arrange it for me to speak to Jerry one day? Uh, I'll ask him. Right. Okay. Oh well, we can have a sort of a chat, can't we? All three of us. Yes, I'd like to have a chat about about birds okay. and their their relative um, population sizes in different areas of the country. Because okay. I think there aren't any on the Isle of Wight, and I think it's the same with the Isle of Man. Well, as I said, so my thesis, I've got a thesis, you see, Mark, that all the islands around the British Isles don't have any birds on. Right. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. I'll I'll I'll, sp I'll speak to him, and we can see if we can arrange a <laughs> excuse the pun a round robin chat about that. Right. Sorry, what was the pun? You missed me. Uh, robin. Robin's a bird. Oh, you mean like round robin, like the letter you send round at Christmas? Yeah. So the three of us can be ch sort of chat about it. No, I don't want to wait that long. Okay. I was thinking of it being something, you know, perhaps over the summer, something like that. All right. Well, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll, I'll give him a give him a ring and see if we can sort something out. How's that, John? Yes, fine. Good. Jerry is his name, isn't Jerry, it? Jerry. Jerry Brown. Jerry Brown, the Birdman. Yep. 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 Okay. All right. Well, it's nice to speak to you, John. And we'll yep. stick Father Abraham on. And uh, enjoy the hot weather. 
Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Great show. Nice to have you back on the air, Mark. Very Thanks. much enjoy it. Good, good speaking to you. Nice Feels to speak. like a privilege to be able to speak to you. Uh, well, I say each week because you haven't been around, have you? But I'll <laughs> no. forgive you for that. No. I forgive you, Mark. Forgive you. Oh, thank and you. Nice to have seen you on the Isle of Wight. So, great show. Thank, thank you, John. Cheerio. See, speak to you next week. Bye, see, bye. Darren's Valley's radio station.